Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be doing the metal analysis for the new Bob and Jack Jack metal that's currently available in this week's high score challenge event. Now, just like usual, I do have the metal already available on my website uh, for you guys to go ahead and take a look at at khuxnation.com. Patreon members got a, a sneak preview to the article itself before the actual release of this video. But since this video is now out, all of you guys are able to now see it as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the metal analysis. Okay, so Bob and Jack Jack is a magic upright metal. Tier 8 random target costs 9 gauges, does 3 hits. His 6 star version has a total max multiplier of a 27.72. His 7 star version has a total max multiplier of a 53.66. His 6 star version doesn't have an ability, it's just pure hits. Whereas the 7 star version has the plus 3 upright strength uh, buff that comes with the 7 star. It also has a 6 star score of a 37.3. Two, nine, and a 7 star score of a 71.070. Now to be honest this is actually going to be a really short uh, metal analysis just because the fact there's honestly not too much to actually be said about Bob and Jack Jack. It is straight up literally just a pure damage metal. Uh, it, it literally doesn't do anything until it's 7 star and even at 7 star the only ability that it gains is the one that comes with the 7 star upgrade that almost every other metal gets as well. So realistically, there's not really too much to be said about this. Other than the fact that it does have a huge amount of gauges that it uses, 9. Because of that fact, the best skills that you're going to want to put on this metal, you, you're practically forced to like, you like have to have cost reduction skill of some sort on Bob and Jack Jack. Otherwise, like, you're, you're going to have such a hard time trying to use them in like various keyblades and such. In terms of best traits, because of the fact he, he is a pure damage metal, that also means that you are going to want the traits that support pure damage metals, which are going to be either of the two minus 60 traits, uh, plus 40 raid boss damage if you know you want to use that for raid boss, um, plus 40 extra attack solely because of the fact of the 7 star upgrade. But other than that, the only reason you would want extra attack is for PvP if you're that crazy about it. Uh, otherwise, extra attack is not going to really do too much compared to what minus 60 air or ground defense would actually do. So just like usual, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tier 8 spreadsheet for Bob and Jack Jack and just kind of compare him to the other tier 8 medals. Uh, as of right now, I'm looking at the 6 star medals. We're going to organize it by score. And considering the fact that Bob and Jack Jack is a pure damage metal, he does have a low uh, score. Uh, and you can actually see right here that Bob and Jack Jack is like pretty much near the bottom of the totem pole in, tier, in terms of the tier 8 medals anyways. With his 6 star score of a 35.329. But of course, um, like many just pure damage metals within the game even though they have a low score they tend to be some of the strongest damage metals in the game so if we go ahead and sort it by the alternative total max multiplier we can see here that bob and jack jack along with Sora and simba are the strongest damage metals among the tier 8 metals of the game so far uh, if we want to go ahead and take a look at the seven star tier 8 metals uh, for their spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and organize it. It is already currently organized by alternate total max multiplier You can see right here that Soren symbol along with Bob and Jack Jack is still up here at the top So that doesn't change. Okay, so now to just go even a step further. We're gonna go ahead and Look at all medals within the game period. Okay, so right now This is the spreadsheet for all medals in the game just the six star versions though We're gonna go ahead and organize it by the alternative total max multiplier Whoop. And as we can see here, Bob and Jack-Jack along with Soren Symbol, S Simba <laughs> are the strongest damage medals in the entire game, at least in terms of 6 star. With right below it being the Illustrated Invisible, FFRK Terra, and Warrior of Light. If we want to go ahead and look at the 7 star versions of the medals, and it is already currently organized by the alternative total max multiplier, we can see here that Bob and Jack-Jack along with Soren Simba again, are still the strongest damage metals in the entire game with their multiplier of the 53.66. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. There's honestly not too much to be said about a pure damage metal like Bob and Jack Jack, but if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.